As we hear more and more states are reporting a rise in COVID-19 cases, some may be wondering, is it better to just go out and get the virus to get it over with? There's that kind of thinking, uh, and then thinking that by doing so, you could achieve herd immunity faster. Well, our night health expert, Dr. Paul Coley, is joining us this morning to talk about this train of thought. Good morning, Dr. Coley, thanks for joining us. Can you remind us what herd immunity is and how is it relevant to containing the spread of the disease? Uh, good morning, Natasha. So herd immunity is a really important concept in infectious disease, so I'm glad you asked, and we should talk about it. So herd immunity basically means that if enough people in the herd actually develop immunity, it can slow the spread of the infection. So if you look at the top panel here, the people shown in blue are naive to the disease or have not developed it, and they don't have immunity. And you can see that the people in red are the ones that are infected, and the infection can spread very quickly if nobody has immunity. This is in contrast to the bottom panel, where all the people in yellow have immunity, and you can see that the people in red are the ones that you know, have the infection, and it slows the spread of the infection much more if people have immunity because they're not vectors to then transmit the infection. So there's two ways that you can really develop immunity in the herd. The first is to get the infection, recover, you know, and have antibodies or immunity against the infection. And then the second is to have vaccination as a way to develop herd immunity. Now, every disease has a different threshold for what level of the population needs to have immunity in order to slow the spread. And the more infectious the disease, the higher the threshold. And in the case of the novel coronavirus, it's about 60% of the herd or 60% of the population needs to have immunity in order to slow the spread. And what about that idea for young people who um, say that they want to go out and get infected to help achieve herd immunity? Is there any truth in that? No, in fact, it's a very dangerous concept, and we know for a fact that this is a failed experiment based on what happened in Sweden. So in Sweden, they actually tried to to um, you know, test this concept out by letting people go out and get infected as a way to achieve herd immunity. And they ended up having lots and lots of deaths. And when they did antibody testing in Stockholm, which is the most populous part of Sweden, only 7% of them actually had antibodies against it. So if you think about the United States, to get to that 60% threshold, one million Americans would actually have to get sick every single week for the next three and a half years. And they would have to maintain that immunity over a long period of time in order to achieve herd immunity. So this is definitely not a good idea because we're a ways away from herd immunity from getting the infection. The only way we can really think about getting this herd immunity is to have that vaccine come mm -hmm. to our rescue. Yeah. And then the other part of this is also that we don't have treatments now mm -hmm. and we will later. So going out and getting sick now intentionally is definitely not advised. Yeah, and definitely can overload the hospitals as well. It could really, um, really not turn out well. Uh, so you bring up the vaccine. Let's talk about that and how that can give us herd immunity. Um, where are we when it comes to the status of that vaccine? You know, we're getting much closer. So a number of different vaccines are now in phase three trials all across the world. And here in the United States, the front runner is the Moderna vaccine, which is intended to enter phase three trial in July. Now, phase three trial is that last phase of testing where you look at a large population of people really to try to pick up rare side effects of the vaccine and make sure that it works. And so this Moderna vaccine that's going to start testing in July is going to have 30,000 people. And we expect that in about six months or so, we'll have the results of that. And then we can manufacture and administer it. So we are getting much closer to having that vaccine as a way to achieve our herd immunity. Yeah, moving in the right direction. Dr. Coley, thank you so much.